do you know what this is? This is a musical washboard, and you play it with um, uh, thimbles on your fingers. It sounds absolutely rubbish. I thought, ah, oh, I've got to find something new and innovative and different and, and all the rest of it. And maybe I can play it with batteries, or maybe I can... It doesn't. It just sounds like a washboard. So not all my brilliant ideas for sounding great, innovative and different come to anything. Um, I just tell you that to show you that um, I can be a buffoon when it comes to my purchasing decisions um, sometimes. Now, um, the real subject of today's uh, little uh, chat is pedal notes. Um, um, pedals in general. A pedal are a harmonic sort of device where you keep you know, one note running underneath uh, while you move other things around it. It's a really useful device, and lots of people don't use it, because I, I, I don't hear it very often in students' work, and I think, actually, you know, th there's quite a lot of mileage in it if you just play around with it. So what I'm going to do, we're going to... It, it doesn't have to be one held note. It can, it, you know, it can be just one repeated note. So we're going to use... Uh, let's do this. Let's start with this, just and see where it takes us. That's a bit quick. It's funny, even before you write, you, got, you, you can sort of hear some sort of pulse in your head. If you can really hear a pulse in your head, go and see a doctor. Um, hang on. Do at least four bars, because if you... <laughs> Although it sounds all the same, there's not. There's little tiny variations in them. You know, what you'd look for first of all are any chords which might have C in. So you're looking for C major, A minor. basic, A flat, then move away from that, B flat, that's quite nice, A flat, B flat, F. nice, I like that. And the other thing is, where you've got a sort of pulse going like that, you're playing around with the rhythm a little bit. So let's use that as the basis, given we're on instant scoring, see what we can do in 10 minutes as usual. to that. Um, oh, hang on. Go. Okay, and I'm, I'm with it now. Sorry, I forgot what I ended up with. No, not going for that. I mean, it's, it's perfectly nice. Um, well, uh, we could, well, we could do a Thomas newman -y sort of stringy thing with this. Thank you. 
bit of a So we're bringing the bass second time round. There, you see, we're going to bring in, uh, we're going to double it. But quite softly. same pitch actually and then then drop it down see what happens <laughs> don't think it needs it don't think it needs it just because you put it in doesn't mean it works bye okay now let's just go to a simple string power uh, so see if we can find some interesting movements here Lots of kind of suspended second. Or maybe we start higher actually. I'm not loving the way this is dropping out all the time. I apologize. Don't know why it's doing it. but we're going to go with that. Now, that last one, what I'm very fond of are these string swells, which you can get in Adagio and you can get in Symphobia. A quick one and a slow one. Not the quick one. I'll show you what happens if you add it to the end of this. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, look, you get the gist. What I'm trying to do here is have a little performance. But I'm, no. I'm trying to look for a way. Oh, okay. I think you get the gist. Um, but pedals are great. That's all built around the pedal. If you just took the pedal out, it would sound fine, but it wouldn't sound 
Uh, it's good. It wouldn't have this sort of little motive force driving it forward. Just run it once without the pedal in, and you'll see what I mean. Here we go. <laughs> See what I mean? I mean, it's perfectly nice, but it's just lacking that certain something. Then, I mean, you can add other bits to your pedal if, um, if you want to, other rhythmic elements. So if you were to repeat that, um, I might think about adding... Oh, I should stop this because I was going to do a short one, but never mind. Okay, plat piano. Let's try that. That's a nice... Imp It's turned into a piece in F, actually. I think that might work. So there you go. Um, your takeaways from all this, <coughs> I hope, are that something really simple like using a pedal um, can make a vast difference to the harmonic structure of your music. And also it's a kind of, it's sort of almost as good as going and buying a new toy like a new sound library. It's just, a, it's a new approach. It's probably more powerful because it uh, sort of invigorates all the libraries you've already got. Um, so if it's not something you've tried doing, what are you waiting for? Get out there, do it, do it straight away. Um, and if you need more help and more information along these lines, check out uh, Cinematic Orchestration. Check out Music for the Media. They're kind of, that's what they're there for, to help people like you become a better composer. Hope you found it useful, and you'll join me next time. Bye-bye.